Washington wants the biggest bust in history. Pablo Escobar and his main distributor, Roberto Alcano. It's, it's true, I've played members of drug cartels in the past. Um, what I found exceptional about this one and why I was willing to explore the material again from uh, another angle was um, I really appreciated how Brad Furman and his mother, the screenwriter, Ellen Brown Furman, drew out the humanity of the person. At the end of the day, we're all human beings. We all have different approaches to life and a list of priorities that, that we keep us aligned in the, in the way we live out our lives. What was it about this guy that, that made him bad? What was it about this guy that made him good? I found a lot of admirable qualities in the guy. And in fact, I think Bob Mazur finds the same qualities admirable. He's loyal. He's a man of faith. He's a man of love. He respects women. Um, and he's a smart businessman. He just happens to be on the wrong side of the law. Have you ever had your palm read? Destiny has marked you. I marveled at what really amounts to the ultimate acting job uh, in real life for a man like Bob Mazur to go undercover and pretend to be someone else, not just for a day or a month or even a year, but several years, and to do it flawlessly because the consequence of of blowing a take, if you will, uh, really results in death, was just really awe-inspiring. Um, to listen to it in hindsight now, uh, the tapes of these actual exchanges, they're, they're, they're magnificent. It's a real historical document as to the intimacy and the friendship and the loyalty that was developed between these two men um, over time, and a kind of loyalty that allowed access to um, a hierarchy that, that no one could really infiltrate without this kind of friendship and bond established. There is no black and white in the real world, especially in this line of work. You have to step into the gray a little bit to be authentic. How else do you prove yourself to a criminal if you don't engage in criminal activity? And so he must on some level. And that's part of the moral dilemma for, for his character. Uh, just how far to that side can he go and still maintain the principle of who he is? That's a really interesting push-pull to, to kind of analyze, and Brian does it brilliantly, of course.